This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Aztec Minerals, Mr. Simon Diakowski. Simon, congrats on a heck of a hole. How are you today, sir? Thanks. I'm doing well. It was a great result for us. Um, put out three holes today. They were all they were actually all solid, but the whole five ended up being a real standout at uh, 136.8 meters, averaging 1.49 grams of gold. And and that included, and it should be noted, 51.7 meters of 3.42 grams per ton gold. This is, of course, at the Cervantes Project from the California zone, the best hole yet. You mentioned the other holes. There were some really, really great widths of mineralization here, right? Um, t- tell me a bit about how internally the team is feeling about the grade, about the controls, and about the fact that, look, hole number five started um, from surface, right? That's 136.8 meters from surface of 1.49 grams per ton gold in Mexico. So pretty straightforward there, right? Absolutely, and the team's feeling very optimistic about the project at this point. Uh, I'll note that hole five was uh, collared 50 meters to the west of hole four, so that one was 167 meters at an average of uh, about a gram, actually just over a gram. So to show the continuity of the uh, of the wide widths of plus gram, plus one gram mineralization is encouraging, and then of course the the point, the five, the, sorry, the high grade that you pointed out, the 51.7 meters, averaging uh, around 3.4 grams, it's, it's very shallow. So, uh, you know, the potential uh, economics of this project uh, are, are obviously greatly um, improved when you have the high grade situated like that uh, in, in relation to the topography of the uh, of the ridge line of the California zone. So, so we're you know we're waiting eagerly for further results. Um, you know, maybe just to touch on holes six and seven. Again, you know, not not as high grade as hole five, but these are step outs now to the north of the of the main California zone. So, uh, right at the northeast edge of the main, uh, the center of the of what's looking to be a deposit here, uh, returned seventy five meters of a gram, I think, in hole six, and then hole seven, uh, a little more modest, but still an encouraging result. That one was. Uh, 4.42 grams per ton over 64 meters. So, you know, very much in line with our initial pass of drilling in 2018 in those two holes. And, and then, of course, hole five uh, dragging the grade up with its, uh, you know, over 130 meter width of nearly a gram and a half. The open pit heat leach gold potential is very clear, right? But there's also the potential for deeper copper gold porphyry sulfide mineralization. How, how, how is the team feeling about that aspect of the project? Because, you know, I think you're well on your way um, to being able to prove out a, a, a million ounce resource just from, you know, the, the, the open pit heap leach potential there. But there's, there, there, there is the potential deeper, right, for some copper gold porphyry sulfide mineralization? Absolutely. There's a very, very large uh, chargeability high uh, right underneath the California ridgeline, um, and it's, it's expansive and it broadens out at depth. Now, with the success of the shallower drilling that we had been doing uh, this past the three months with the with the grid of 200 meter holes at a 60 degree angle, uh, we we elected to uh, complete uh, a more complete grid. Uh, sorry, two two funny words in there, but. Um, uh, you know, fill, fill in the gaps on on the gold oxide cap. Uh, we do have some slightly deeper tests with the RC rig, but this is really going to morph into uh, a core drilling program as the next step, and that'll allow us to go much deeper into that sulfide target. So while we have a couple of holes that scratch the top of it, uh, we, we don't have a full deep test yet as of this point. So that is still something to look forward to in the future. Well, look, so far, every single hole that's been drilled at California has intersected that near surface oxidized gold mineralization. Um, Excellent, excellent start to the drilling campaign. Looking forward to more news. Uh, What comes next? Yeah, so there's 15 holes still to come. Um, And and again, we're only talking about the initial gold numbers on this, uh, on these news releases. So we still are waiting for the full suite of elements. So that'll include the copper and the silver. Um, so we expect to have, you know, as we've seen the last 
few weeks. Regular updates every one to two weeks. We expect to get another three to four holes um, in our hands, and, and we will hope we disclose them in a timely manner. So through the end of March and into April, we'll have we'll be uh, you know further explaining the picture of the gold oxides at California and and getting a sense of what we plan to do next uh, through the through the spring months into the summer. Excellent. Looking forward to having you back on, Simon. Thanks for the update on short notice. Appreciate it. Yeah, great. Thanks for uh, the opportunity to come on and talk about these results today. All right. Chat soon.